so good morning everyone namaste to all you are welcome in this morning session where we are practicing exercise 2 so in this exercise we are trying to observe ourselves the body and the interaction between the self and the body so let me brief the four steps that we discussed in last few days then today we will talk about step 5. So in step 1, we are trying to see that I exist and body also exist. So this we have to observe directly using our potential as a pure observer. So I exist because there are activities going on in me which are not physiochemical activities like desire, thought, expectations. Body exists because there are activities going on in the body which are physiochemical activities. So I exist and body exists. On that basis, we can say that Self and body are two distinct realities. And I have potential to see myself, to observe all the activities happening in me. And similarly, I have potential to observe all the activities happening in the body from surface level to micro, macro, nano level. All activities I can observe. It's a matter of our decision. So objective of step one is to see that there are two realities, two distinct realities exist in coexistence. Then in step two, we are trying to observe the interaction which is taking place between the self and the body. So in this exercise two, we discussed and also we are observing that I give instruction to the body, then body follows it. And I read sensations that taking place in the body. And this instruction and this sensation is in the form of an information. So information is being exchanged between the self and the body with my decision. So if I de decide to give instruction to the body, I instruct the body. If I decide to read sensation of the body, I read sensation. And both are in the form of an information. So we can say the interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information, not of any physiochemical thing. This we observed in step two of of exercise two. Then we discussed step three. In step three, we are trying to observe who is decision maker, who is taking decision, who is deciding. So in this step, we saw that I am the one who decides to give instruction to the body. I am the one who decides to read specific sensations from the body. So many sensations are taking place in the body, but I decide which sensation is to be read. So I am decision maker and I interact with the body as and when I require. I am not interacting with the body continuously. I interact when I think it is important to interact. I instruct when I think it is important to instruct, then only I interact with the body. So body acts according to the instructions that I gave it. And I use the body as per my decision. I use the body as an instrument. So in step three, we are able to see that we are, I am consciousness is a decision maker. That is a conclusion of this step three. 
then we discuss step in step three that I am also a seer, doer, and enjoyer. So I am seer. I observe my body. I observe myself as and when required. I use the body to see. I am the one who decides to see. In that sense, I am observer. Similarly, I decide to do whenever I think it is important to do something with the body. And whatever decisions are taking place is taking place in me. So it is consciousness where decisions are take, taking place. So I decided, I decide to do something. Similarly, happiness or unhappiness of my decisions happens in me and I experience this happiness and unhappiness. In that sense, I am enjoyer also. So I am seer, I am doer and I am enjoyer, experiencer. So body is being used by me just as an instrument. So this we have practiced. Then we discussed step four. And step four, we have seen that there is a distance between the self and the body. For this, we are trying to read any sensation of the body. And when I am observing any sensation, then I am asking these three questions. Am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? So when I am asking these questions to me while observing the any sensation of the body, then the, we will get these answers. I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is a separation between me and the sensation. So I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. And there is a separation between me and the sensation. There is a separation between me and the body, self and the body. <clears throat> so up to here, we have discussed all of us trying to observe these four steps. And observation is very important. Step by step observation is very important. And step by step, this observation will help us to take better decision when we interact with body, when we interact with other environment. So that's why this exercise too is useful for us because now we are interacting with the body and we should interact with the body with a sharp awareness. So this exercise, these steps are helping us to observe more precisely, observe myself, observe the body and the interaction between the self and the body. So with this, we have a homework. Observe any sensation in the body. It may be sensation of pain, itching, heat, cold, Then while observing, ask yourself, are you the sensation? Are you in the sensation? Are you separate from the sensation? And observe this for other sensations taking place in various parts of the body as well. And we have to do this exercise all the time. While eating, while walking, while teaching, while interacting with other persons, Every moment we have to be aware what is happening in me, what is happening in body and how the interaction between the two is taking place. So every moment we have to be aware about these interactions. So whenever you unmute the mic, observe in yourself. Are you unmuting your mic with awareness? So, you have given instructions to your body to unmute your mic. That's why body is following it. We have to observe it. 
when I give answer of your questions, some sensations take place in your body. Are you aware that you are reading that sensation with your decision? There are many sensations taking place at that time when I am giving answers. But you decide to read that decision consciously. And you have decided not to read any other uh, sensations that are coming at that time. So all this happening with your decision. Are we aware of this? Are we observing this? So observation is very important part. The more we are observe, the more we will be clear in ourselves that I am not a body. I am separate from the body. And reading sensations are my choice. Giving instruction to the body is my choice. So with sharp observation, with focused observation, we will be able to handle the interaction between me and body in a better manner. So this observation is very important. So anyone want to share his or her observation of from step one to step four, we can take it. And when anyone shares observation, it help us to grow together. Ji, bhaiya, namaste, sabhi ko. Namaste. So we all four uh, enjoyed this journey, and it was the great mm. day for me for the observation. So instead of our okay. ten minutes or one or two hours observation, we could uh, my myself particularly could observe throughout eleven hours because our train was late for Kanpur. Eleven hours it was late. So all the time, bhaiya, uh, and this is my very favorite step, step number four, exercise two, step number four, all the time. Likewise, in step number one, uh, exercise number one, step number four again, I am 100% responsible. So why, uh, so why I was seeing all the time? Because as you told that, as we observe more and more, our uh, observation or the uh, understanding is uh, sharpened. So what I am observing here, so exactly, see, I am, I am not the sensation. I am not in sensation and sensation is different than me. So how I could observe that? So when we were sitting, uh, the first step, I will take two, two three minutes more. When we know, uh, we knew that the train is late by six hours earlier. So we didn't decide. Hmm. So because we were sitting there and it was decided by the self not to go to home back. So it means it was the decision of the self. Though body was giving some sensation, why, why to sit here, why to waste time. But self decided not to go. So this is number one. I, I, I have read the sensation and I, I read the sensation depending upon my uh, requirement. Number two, as the time was growing or the time was elapsing, we were having all foods uh, and this one uh, for the journey. So, unless and until there was a proper time or proper place to eat, we didn't eat it. Means we can control, means as per the thirst, hunger, whatever the points were given that we could observe properly. Then finally, while in train, when we started a journey, so again the sensation, whatever be the um, toiletries or toilets requirements are there, Suppose it is occupied, toilet is occupied, the automatically sensation means the self, uh, you can say, self answered that, no, this is not the right thing. Those sensations were in the body, but self was there. Right now, now also at 4 a.m., so my regular timing is to go toilet, that is 4 to 4.30. So again, so happily, uh, self uh, um, responded that, now this is the right time. Because nobody is got up by this time from this bogey, and I can utilize this and properly. So thus, I can make me happy throughout the day. Baya. Again, it will take four hours for the Kanpur reaching. So uh, if I decide, I want means I want to be in harmony, or because it is the basic aspiration 
of the self to be in harmony and uh, innateness is the happiness so uh, it is the very clear step like i can see the i along with my four friends ajay bhaiya pratik bhaiya and vijay bhaiya and we are discussing also so really it was the great day and it was a great exercise so thank you thanks a lot i hope you could hear all the my words thank you yes we are very nice bhaiya that you are observing every moment trying to observe every moment in your journey so it is good and it should be done by each one of us whatever we are doing we should keep our observation continue yeah. as bhaiya shared that the more observation will give more clarity about us about consciousness about the body about the interaction between the two so that's yeah. why observation is very important and bhaiya is doing that observation you know, even during his journey that is very nice and very good and bhaiya is able to yeah. see that whatever decision is taking place is taking place in the self and bhaiya is enjoying his decision also happiness and happiness comfortability and comfortability he is able to observe what is happening <laughs> otherwise it will be bored na yeah right right yeah. right ji ji 11 hours waiting on the platform 11 right. hours waiting on the platform without doing any how how we can do yes but we enjoy we enjoy all this society kumar bhaiya also talked with us we six am and still enjoy Thank you, Bhaiya. Thanks a lot. Ji, namaste, sir. Thank you. So, eleven hour waiting at the platform will not hurt you if you are aware of yourself. Ji, we are not aware of ourselves. Then even one hour waiting may hurt us. Us. So we are aware, and we are conscious that whatever decision is taking place is happening in me. I am responsible for my decision as I am doer. that's why aware with awareness i am taking those decision that is not making me happy unhappy that's why we are comfortable with that 11 hour hour otherwise it would it would become difficult for us to wait for 11 hour and be happy in those circumstances so this is good bhaiya you are able to figure out all the steps during your journey a very nice bhaiya Uh, sir uh, we are discussing uh, certain points and amongst those points there is one point there is a separation between me and the uh, uh, it is sensation there is a separation between me and the sensation now my question is then is it possible that sensations taking place like pain or pleasure and we are not able to read those sensations if we are feeling that these sensations are not there in in the in the circumstances that if we, if we are able to feel that these sensations are not there then how we can say that these are separate from each other yes bhai so you have a choice to read sensation of that particular part of your body or not to read so you are with choice that why you are you can say that i am separate from the sensation i am not hard bounded with my body so some sensation But takes actually, place uh, in the body we i have raised this point is that supposing mm-hmm. there is a sensation of pain severe pain mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. it is bound to be felt by us it is bound to be we, we can't ignore it under those circumstances how we can exercise the choice is it possible that under the circumstances we are able to exercise the choice that we may feel or we may not feel this is the question yes so bhaiya in that case we have to practice first when there are less pain when there are small sensations taking place in the body then you figure it out whether we have a choice or not if you have a choice with 
that lesser pain pain it means you have a choice with that intense pain also so if i am not a body i am consciousness and i am seer doer enjoyer and i have a choice whether to read the sensation or not then it is possible and you must have seen many times we generally do not notice it but many times you have seen children playing cricket and during playing cricket they hurt themselves and blood flows from their leg but they don't read that sensation they are indulged with the in 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 their consciousness about the win or loss of the match so they are indulged in that thought so they don't read the sensation once cricket is finished then they start crying after seeing this flowing blood so blood was flowing but he or that child was not reading the sensation because he was indulged somewhere else so reading the sensation was not priority of that child the priority was to win the match and once the he won the match again priority is changed now he focus on the blood and when he focus on the blood now it, it becomes difficult for him to ignore this pain similar cases many times you have seen similar cases so keep it obje observation keep it that, this that, that is right observation. sir let, let us suppose we take the uh, example that you have quoted now that a cricket player who's uh, let us suppose leg is uh, wounded and bleeding is there but he is ignoring and playing continuously and he will play, uh, he will uh, realize that uh, severity of the pain when whenever his attention comes back to so on that particular point after the game is over but my point is that he is at that time when when he is very much engaged in the process of playing his all focus is on the game he is i think temporarily deferring the feeling of uh, this sensation but ultimately as soon as uh, his game is over his turn is over he will again uh, start feeling it then he will not be able to stop it that he should not feel that there is no problem with him or with his body sir actually this was the realization there is no contradiction about this that we mm -hmm. are exercising all these things at our own decision i am not contradicting that but this is just my feeling this is one of the observations that i want to share with you you are absolutely right that uh, uh, when he allows uh, he starts feeling when he doesn't allow he doesn't feel about the sensation of the pain i, I don't contradict that but my observation was that this happens in our day to day life that uh, these things are sometimes very powerful uh, uh, that we, we we cannot ignore them so this was the See, bhaiya, in that case, the exercise of oh, uh, step one and step two, if we are clear that I am not a body and if I am clear that I read sensation with my choices, if we have awareness and a good awareness in these steps, then it will be possible to avoid that intense pain also. so we are not avoiding it because we are trying to handle this sensation but if we have realized that i have a choice then there is a choice and it now it is up to the person how much he is clear about this self and the body many soldiers who are fighting at the border they are they may hurt get hurt very badly but at that time they take decision i have to handle the enemy i will handle my body later so with intense pain they keep fighting with the soldiers soldiers so the point is there is a choice if we are not able to ignore this pain it means i have no other work where i can get indulge that's why i have no choice that's why i am paying attention only on that part of the body otherwise as a choice it is available it is up to us how much we are aware about myself the body and the 
mechanism of transaction which is taking place between the two. So it is up to us. But you can exercise it through small steps. And then we will be able to see this choice when there are a intense pain. So what I suggest is just start observing in a situation when there is a not so much intense pain. If we exercise this in those situations, then we will be able to see, yes, in this case, we have also a choice. It is another matter that I am not able to handle it, but I am with a choice. It can be seen, but it is up to the person how much he is aware about this step one, two, and three. Right, dear. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, namaste, Raya. Uh, namaste to all my co Raya, it is uh, one thing is clear to me is the body. I am not the body. I am a conscious unit uh, coexistence with the body. Because of me, uh, my presence in the body, body is generating some sensations. So I am fully in control of those sensations. And one more thing, uh, what I have observed is, uh, suppose because unknowingly uh, my attention di diverted to the uh, towards sensations if I feel at the moment uh, it is uh, forced me to uh, focus on sensation but uh, uh, due course of time even though the pain or something is uh, uh, in increased then uh, if I thoroughly observe I won't feel that much pain as I, in the beginning, as I felt. So, uh, this is uh, observation. And uh, because uh, I am in the body, that's why body is able to uh, give some sensations. Without my presence, body cannot give. So, I am, uh, in fact, uh, I am fully in control of the uh, sensations, whether I want to read or I don't want to read or I feel uh, its intensity or uh, less intensity, uh, even though it is uh, uh, in the whatever existing stays. It is uh, my observation, Baya. Right. So this is good observation. So I am with the body. I exist, body exists. I have accepted the body. So both are existing. And it is my choice whether to read the sensation or not read the sensation. So many times you we have observed that we are indulged in watching TV and, and another person is, is speaking loudly, but we are not, not listening him or her yes. because we are indulged in the TV. So this is our decision whether to watch the TV or to read the sensation which is happening in my body. So this is our choice. So this is good observation that I am consciousness, I am not a body and I have a choice to read the sensation from the body or not. Body is not sending any information to me. Suppose there is a pain, itching. So body is not sending information to the consciousness. It is the consciousness who decides to read those sensations. If consciousness is busy somewhere else, he will not even feel that there is a pain in the body. And so, for example, many examples you can see with children, with you also. Many times we get indulged in ourselves and some people trying uh, to call us get up, get up. After many, so many call, we receive his voice. But he was giving his uh, the call for uh, many times. But I was in there somewhere else. So I was in there somewhere else. That's why I have decided not to listen any uh, anyone. Yes. Similarly, while sleeping also, you decide that I will not read sensation happening in the body because I am going to sleep. That's why during those six hours, many sensation you don't read. 
Yes. Because you decide. Now I will give rest to my body. So you don't need many sensations. Even AC is uh, working, your body gets cold. But because you have decided not to disturb body, not to read any sensation, you don't read any sensation. So in many situations, many circumstances, we can see that we are with choice. Yes, but uh, it's good observation here that you are able to see. One more thing, Baya. Sometimes uh, uh, we feel very rare occasions, of course. Uh, uh, we are unable to give instructions. Uh, means uh, we are not taking the uh, instruments help uh, because some illness or something is there in the body. So even though we want to give instructions on the body to you utilize this instrument, we are unable to do that. Uh, yes. so what is that uh, situation? Uh, when myself giving instructions, body won't, uh, uh, is not ready to uh, follow those instructions. Yes. So if there, if the body is not in harmony, oh, yes. If all the cells are not working properly, yes, yes. Then it is possible that I am giving instruction, but body is not following it. Yes. So that's why harmony in the body and harmony in the self, both are required. Yes. So when I am in harmony, I give instruction with awareness. Yes. And when body is in harmony, then body receives that instruction as it is. Yes. So for example, due to lifestyle, many people feel that in the morning, uh, we are not able to get up. Yes, yes. Because due to lifestyle, the system of the body is disturbed. And now the body is so tired you know, that it is not able to receive our instruction. So that's why harmony in the cell, harmony in the body is required. So as a human being, there should be harmony in me. And I am responsible for that. Body and harmony of the body is also responsibility of me. That we are calling it feeling of Sanyam. Feeling of yes. self-regulation. So if we have a feeling of self-regulation, then we will keep our body in harmony also. Then a communication will take place between self and body in a better manner. Jim. I am only the responsibility uh, for maintaining body all, uh, in the harmony. Yes. So you are responsible you know, yes, yes. for your body. Yes. So you take decision what lifestyle yes. we have to live. With your yes. decision, you, know, you are instructing your body to put on AC, to see, uh, to put on TV, to eat fast food, whatever is taking place. It is your decision. So it yes. is our responsibility to keep our body in harmony. Yes. Any any inharmony in the body is because of my own decision, my responsible, yes. uh, my responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, I only yes. the need to make it, uh, bring it into harmony state. See, body is already in harmony, a self-organized unit. Yes. We yes. have to take care only the inputs that we give to the body, yes. like food. Yes. So body is already in harmony. But we have to take care while giving food to the body, whether it is healthy or not. Yes, yes, yes. And so we are disturbing so we, the harmony of the body yeah, sometimes uh, because of uh, ignorance. Because of lack of feeling yes. of self-regulation, lack yes. of feeling of Sanyam in the self. Yes, yes. Okay. So what happens, we do not see our body as an instrument. Generally, we see our body as a source of happiness through sensation yes yes and to get happiness from the body we overuse our body yes yes and yes. that's why body gets disturbed yes. right here especially in uh, children uh, it's uh, very difficult uh, uh, to uh, make them understand this aspect via 
that is uh, because always they are uh, uh, completely involved in the uh, sensual uh, uh, attractions children tasting or uh, asking for some food uh, continuously uh, again and again and uh, all those habits but we can them we can give them right proposal yes yes proposal we can give but uh, yes uh, it is difficult to make them to uh, 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 walk in the right way <laughs> we can give them right proposal we can yes. give them right environment in our home yes 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 so if we are living with awareness child will observe it yes and so yes. proposal and environment is in our hand that yes. we can give to our child yes yes ji thank, thank you bhai thank you nice okay bhai yeah good morning namaste namaste bhaiya uh, bhaiya there is a one saying uh, what uh, yesterday i have observed that's uh, i was traveling uh, usual routine returning from institute to the home mm-hmm. uh, that's it was a humid environment the mm-hmm. body could feel the, the hotness mm-hmm. and at the same time when bus was moving mm-hmm. that's when there is air entering through the window that i could read even so comparable to the body that is the air temperature might have been reduced that i could notice it and at the same time i could also observe some tingling sound in the ear also this is my observation by mostly i think with this what i can conclude is i am is not in the sensation right and there is one question by also mm-hmm. that's when we say that consciousness unit mm. which is not materialistic mm. and also we say that it is having no uh, it is having uh, it is energized mm. but when we go with scientifically that e is equal to mc square mm. the when a unit does not have a mass mm. it is not associated with energy so can you throw a light over it bhaiya when we say consciousness unit it has no mass no material unit then how it is energized bhaiya okay so if you see the scientific studies you know the science scientific methods so science makes conclusion on the basis of interaction taking place between the material units and with the help of instruments and the consciousness is so subtle that it cannot be understood through any instrument physical instrument not from the sensation it can be observed directly so in fact in science this is a crisis that they have not understood consciousness they have not understood their selves they have not understood their participation in this whole existence and they are trying to make some conclusions so most of the time they study material things with the help of material with the help of instrument but if you see the consciousness consciousness cannot be understood through the help of the yeah cannot be seen through the help of any instrument it is so subtle that all instrument which are available today and all instrument which are available to today incapable to study the science because consciousness uh, to study the consciousness because consciousness is a not a material it cannot be understood through material it cannot be seen through instrument for this we have to observe ourselves directly so for example there is a law of newton third law of newton every action has a reaction 
this law is true if we see the material so if you hit the wall the wall will give equal force you know in return so this law is true for material but is it true for consciousness if someone gives reaction am i bound as a consciousness to give reaction i may give response i may give reaction also so consciousness is with choice so all the physical laws all the scientific studies we have to observe this carefully how much they are capable to study this consciousness and this consciousness cannot be studied through this instrument for example feeling of trust can any instrument tell that feeling of trust is naturally acceptable to us no no so science has with its limitation limitation of seeing everything with the help of instrument logically rationally rationally but you can observe yourself directly even you are not rational you can observe your you directly so for example natural acceptance you can see it directly so as per my understanding i have studied some quantum physics and some physics etc so consciousness is not properly placed in those experiment consciousness is under being under evaluated instruments are being over evaluated so there is need to understand consciousness first and through this consciousness this existence and with this existence what is the role of consciousness in this existence and you know, interconnectedness with each unit including consciousness then we can make some conclusion otherwise if we are over evaluating the instrument the equipment then it will be difficult to understand this consciousness jibhi yeah very nice bhai yeah. uh, if you permit uh, i will put one uh, one more uh, question or you can say the explanation required bhai yeah ji 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 yeah bhai yeah. that's uh, i was just looking yesterday that's the lecture by swami sarvanand priya mandukya upanishad uh, he thoroughly explained about the consciousness unit mm. that is what he refers there as turiya the fourth mm. unit so can you put some more light over it bhaiya that's i could not get it completely but i could understand something out of it say again bhaiya last line was what the last line yes yes bhaiya uh, what was the last line say again yeah yeah the, uh, i was going through that's uh, hmm, related to consciousness unit by a lecture sir of swami sarvanand priya mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and he refers there the consciousness unit as turiya that is the fourth unit what he refers he is not the presenter he is not the uh, what you can say sleeper like that he refers three and the fourth one he refers it as the turiya and that is what he refers it as the consciousness unit he is not the knower he is not the dreamer and he is not even in the subconscious unit also and he refers he is the turiya uh, if you throw some more light over it i think i can get it something more out of your explanation bhaiya okay so i will request you give some time to me so that i can understand what is what this word is turiya yeah so that's uh, i will it search is... for it you know definitely okay. there is a reality that is being presented with this word turiya you know so yeah, give yeah. me some time i will understand this word then i will come you back again yeah bhai there is a video bhai who am i by swami sarvanand priya it is delivered in iit kanpur only mm. it's uh, it is a part of mandukya upanishad bhai yeah 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 thank you bhai thank you okay bhai thank you so let's move towards step number 5 you know so i will introducing this step 
and step number five is very important step where we will observe the role of self and the role of body while interacting with environment while interacting with other person so let me introduce this step five then we will see in detail discuss in detail each day so in this step number five we are trying to understand the interaction of this cell with body and world outside so how the world outside how the body and the self comes into picture whenever there is an interaction that we will study in this step number 5 so if we see there are two sources of sensation so if you are able to see this screen there are few sources of sensations written on this screen number 1 the effect of the behavior of the other first the effect of the behavior of the other first reaches my body due to that there are sensation in the body so this is first source of the sensation so whenever other person interact with us behave with us so with this interaction there some sensation happens in my body so this is first source of sensation one source of sensation that some interest sensation take place in my body whenever other person behaves with us interact with us in terms of sound touch so suppose some person use some words and these words affect my body these words come to my ear ear drum and some sensation takes place so this is the first one of the source of sensations another source could be the situation outside a physical chemical change that has an effect on the body so for example it is raining outside so there is cold outside and this cold we feel with the help of the body so it this cold has an effect on our body again we have a sensation on our body due to outside environment so this is another source of sensation the third source could be there are events happening with the body that we are discuss discussing for few days like pain in the head heartbeat itching all these are happening in my body in the form of sensation and fourth source could be there is something going on in my imagination maybe peace worries anxiety due to that there are sensation in the body so whenever we have a fear we can see it impacts on our body heart beats get fast etc so these four sources are possible sources which create some sensation in my body so we have to observe all these sources we have to observe all the sensation in my body and we have to identify what is the source of this sensation which is happening at this time in my body so it may be because of the behavior of other person it may be because of some physical chemical change outside it may be because of some events is taking place in my body or it may be because of my imagination because of my conscious i am in anxiety i am in worrying state so it impacts our body also so these are possible sources of sensation and we have to observe it so whatever you read sensation happening in your body just try to observe what is the source so we have to find out the source of the sensation 
at this time. So these sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation. And again, I decide to read this sensation or not to read this sensation. But at this time, we have to just observe what is the source of sensation. So some sensations are taking place in my body, but what is the source? Is it because of the other's behavior? So for example, I am speaking, my words, my sound is going on, going up to your eardrum. And at that part of the body, some sensation is taking place. And if you are reading that sensation, then you will be able to find that this sensation is happening because of the speaker is speaking something. That's why this sensation is happening in my body. Similarly, if you are outside or inside the home, you know, due to temperature of the environment, there will be some impact on your body. If temperature is low, there is a different kind of sensation in your body. If temperature is high, then you will feel different kind of sensation of your body. But this sensation is because of the physiochemical change in my environment. It is not because of any one's behavior. It is because of a physiochemical change happening outside. Similarly, some sensations are taking in me, in my body purely. For example, pain, itching blood flow, digestion, all these happening in my body. And this we are trying to see for many days, the sensation which are taking place in my body. And one possible source is something is happening in myself and it is impacting my body. So suppose you have a contradictory thoughts. You may have a problem of migraine. You may have a problem of headache. You, your body may get tired. So this is happening because of some contradictory things are going on in my self, my consciousness. Similarly, some peaceful things are going on in my consciousness. Harmonious thoughts are going on in my consciousness. Then we feel different kind of sensation, may feel different kind of sensation with my decision in the body. So from step one to four, we are we were talking about that many sensations are taking place in my body. But now we are saying that are we aware what is the right source of these sensations that is happening in my body? So we have to find the source. So it will increase our awareness. Maybe your body is in trouble because your imagination is in contradictory state. But are we aware that this sensation is taking place because of something is going on in my imagination? So we have to be aware, we have to observe from now what is the source of the sensations taking place in my body. So this we have to observe. So we have we will start observing from now to till tomorrow, the whole day. Are we aware what is the source of this sensation which is happening in my body? It is because of the, my imagination. It is because of some activities going on in my body. It is because of some physical chemical change outside. It is because of some one's behavior, someone's words. What is the source of the sensation which is taking place in my body? We have to observe this. Then from tomorrow, we will go into detail of these steps and we will take time, we will devote few days on this step 5 because this step 5 is very important. So many of us are sharing that they are able to see the sensation 
they are able to see that they are not the sensation. They are able to see that decisions are being taken by me, not the body. Now we have to see, are we able to identify the source of the sensation? So from today till tomorrow, we will keep observing our sensation. And each time we will try to find out what is the source of this sensation. My imagination, few activities in my body or physical chemical change outside or someone's behavior. So we will observe this. We will observe how the sensation in the body are used by the self. So we will keep exercising this till tomorrow when we will go into detail of each step. Okay, thank you very much.